The Anzisha scenario is a desired outcome for the future, one where very young entrepreneurs employ their peers and their friends, and the very act of doing that could have a multiplier effect at the individual level, at the community level, nationwide, and even across the continent. The, the more younger people there are pursuing entrepreneurship as a career and hiring their age mates, the greater that ripple effect could be. We do have a very significant proportion of youth in this continent who are unemployed or underemployed. Um, and I think what's clear from that is that the mainstream economies running on the continent are not going to be a sufficient uh, pool to be able to absorb that labor over the course of the next 20 to 30 years. I found lots of interesting research while writing the Anzisha scenario, but one piece of research particularly that I thought might be useful to share is a book called Factfulness by Hans Rosling. Um, what I found interesting about it is that it provides a, an analysis of statistical trends in African development over the last 50, 60 years and debunks the myth that the continent is not developing. I believe that the Anzisha scenario is possible because I've seen a lot of young people, young entrepreneurs that have managed to start something, have actually worked with their peers and are now serving the communities, specifically in, in Kailicha where this young gentleman decided that tutoring is the way forward. He then decided to literally start his own organization, hire his own people, and is now able to tutor people in his area. One of the things that I think needs to happen to enable the scenario is for collaboration to take place, but willing as well, willing collaboration to take place. But this needs active participation from all stakeholders, so from the government sector, private sector, and even communities as well. And I think one of the key role players that we often do sideline and forget in this entrepreneurship neural journey is the parents. They're the custodians of the children, but so many times we forget the role that they play and the time that they spend with their kids, but even educators and the impact that they have. The Anzisha scenario is important for Africa because Africa's population is growing at a much higher rate than jobs are being created. Soon, this rapidly increasing child and youth population will be of working age. And so I think there's an opportunity for young people themselves to become job creators, and that could have tremendous implications for African economies.